finally found a shot that I think looks pretty cool. Now the advantage of snow is that you can easily see what direction the wind is actually blowing. Um, so all the snow right now is being pushed in from the northwest. That means what I'm trying to do is just get my camera set up so that I'm pointing towards the direction of the same flow of snow. So all the snow is coming this way. So what I'm trying to do is get all the snow hitting against the bark and the trunks of these trees back here. It's not really easy because there's a lot of debris in the background. So you kind of have to like pick and choose depending on what you want to show in an image. I like having just the slightest amount of contrast within that area of tree bark on either side and just having that snow that's stuck onto the tree bark kind of right in the middle there. I think it plays really nicely and makes those tree trunks stand out. Since there are like this grove of trees back here, what I'm trying to do is just stack the trunk so you can just see one and really seclude that out and get kind of just this minimal scene. So you're really always just trying to figure out what works best based on condi conditions, direction of wind, how you want the composition to look, um, it all goes into it. So I'm stacking these because <clears throat> the pine needles that are sticking out on this tree trunk are a little bit further out than the tree trunk and they threw the focus off on the trunk a little bit off. So trying to do a little bit of a focus stack here, um, but not easy because these pine needles blow around all the time in the wind. So never, never an easy task when you're out in some elements like these. It was definitely fun being out photographing in the snow and getting this shot, but I felt like I had so much more to get while I was out there. So I started walking around a little bit more to see what else I could find. This shot that I'm working on right here is really what I envision out of today, you have a lot of different contrasting tree trunks and it's this tree that you see my camera pointed at back here, but getting a little window into where you have a lot of that deep, deep green of the pine needles with the snow caps on top of those limbs coming down. And then you have a nice little gap in that tree where the tree trunks kind of wind through and you get that really cool abstract line kind of like twisting limb look back in there and you get that little window that you can look through and since we're facing north we're facing south east from the northwest you're getting a lot of that snowpack on the tree trunk itself and the limbs so you're getting that high contrast look to those tree limbs so that they really stand out the challenge however is being sure that you're getting enough deep green behind that and there's enough snow falling so that there's separation and distance and depth to the trees in the background that you don't get those but you don't want just like stark white behind that so i'm just trying to like maneuver right and left to see what the best angle is to eliminate a lot of that just white negative space that's really distracting to the overall composition. I think I found one right here. Um, safe to say this is probably going to be my favorite photo of the day. The further the day went on, the harder the snow fell, and since the snow was falling so much harder and covering the ground, I wanted to find some ground elements to photograph, and as I was walking around, I found some really cool pine branches that had fallen and died on the ground and were really a stark contrast to the white snow around it. And what was great about the snow was it was reflecting this almost bluish magenta color to go with the pine branch on the ground.